Progress threatens other things. Old water mills, for instance. Hundreds of lovely old mills have fallen into idleness and decay. But not this one at Wickhamborough near Canterbury. It's the mill that became a factory, that turned from grinding corn to manufacturing tobacco pouches. As far back as 1888, the father of the present owner, Mr. Walter, foresaw the decline of the watermill. By changing its line of business, it's a flourishing concern today. One by one, other mills fell into disrepair. But inside the ancient timbers of the Wickenbrow Mill, modern machinery powered by the old mill stream hummed and whirred with unbroken industry. For information please this week, let's follow the progress of an armful of scrap rubber into a smart new tobacco pouch. The rubber leaves the pulping machine as a solid slab, reduced under pressure to a thick, spongy consistency, resilient and tough. From here, the slab is transferred to the cutting block, a sort of horizontal guillotine. A block this size will yield dozens of wafer-thin skins of rubber. Accurate to a thousandth of an inch, the knife edge shaves off successive layers like the cream of a milk pan. Deft, feminine fingers put the finishing touches to the pouches, welding the edges. A prospering industry in the old mill that never closed.